Um, I remember seeing Judith come through at uh, KIU Rangers and uh, when she joined UCU Lady Cannons uh, three years ago, um, she told me that she wanted to join UCU because she was tired of not winning. Now, at the time, I, I think when she joined in the first season, they lost to KCC Leopards in the final. And I remember reminding her that, you know, when you joined UCU, you told me you're here to win, but you're only adding to the defeats that UCU have had. So I think she's had the kind of response, I think, ever since then, in 2016 and 2017. In other, that has been a lot about UCU, I think, coaching themselves. After losing Nicolas Naperez as their coach, um, they are, the person who replaced him in Chiguya has not does not inspire a lot of confidence and I could almost tell the conflict between the players and him. But then, when they got to the moment where they needed to decide the championship in game three and four, Judith Nansovia showed up big time. The 25 points that she racked up in the decisive game four, I think for me, I wrapped up the season entirely. And so she's become one of the better players, I think, at UCU, a team that has a, quite a mad conveyor belt. Being a university, you're bound to lose players every now and then. But to have one player you can depend on for one season, I think Nansori has been that for you. Uh, to appreciate Avis' story, you must look at her as a swimmer who has, who has come a long way. First, uh, she, wasn't, she wasn't anywhere five, six years ago. And she came from 2014 and just took everyone by surprise. Avis, apart from her individual play as a swimmer, she has been able to gather her play as well because swimming is, a, is, an, edge, is an edge sport. Most importantly for her is that she has taken it a step further to the international stage. She has been to the Islamic Solidarity Games, she has been to the World University Games representing Uganda. And finally, her dream of going to the World Championship also came true. Uh, this year since January has actually been a good and tremendous year in, this, in terms of swimming and it's also been hectic and I've achieved quite a number of things. At the end of the year, I was awarded the female swimmer. We, I won the club championship for sales and also in Kana Zone 3, I was the female swimmer of the year. So I got a trophy. And the highlight of my year this year was going for World National Championships. World National Championships that took place in Hungary, Budapest, where I broke my 50 fly national record, which is good. And I was top three in my heat. Yeah. Every rally driver understands that the only chance you have to rack up a national championship is by finishing races. So what Vitidis did is to finish races. It's not been the most competitive year I've got to admit because Ronald Sebuguzi has had his problems. Um, just Mangad decided not to drive the entire having one in 2016 was a bit of a dampen on the entire calendar. Duncan Mubiru is supposed to be one of the fastest drivers on, um, in Uganda. Does not have the consistency and the brain power, I think, to last races. He's, he can be excited in one day and then goes and botches it in the second. So you've got to give it to that one person who has the mental fortitude to go and last the entire dis distance. And can you imagine what you'd be doing in your 60s? Would you be racing in a rally car? That would be too fast for so many people. I think most of the drivers race between 20 and 40. After that, it's too dangerous and too risky because of family. You look at your children. You, you can't risk uh, calling your mom after car rolling. Now, it is dares to do something that no one else does. And that's what makes him special. In 2017, it captured all the skilled pool players and uh, very experienced pool players in Uganda. It was a championship of the cream of the country. So winning it, I think uh, I've done a lot, I've practiced a lot. Winning it, I, I deserved it because I trained hard. In brief, 2017, it has been a life-changing year in my life. There are few people in my age group who I compete with in some races. But I would like to move to a higher age group so that I could see how 
tough competition really feels like. Namute Bichirabo has in the past years been voted as the Uganda Sports Press Association personality, swimmer, female swimmer, and she still gives us reason in 2017 to believe that she deserves to be on that list because Jirabo is currently swimming in the 11 to 12 age group. If you followed the game in the past four to five years, there is no swimmer who improves at the rate she does. She's, she has that adrenaline build that no one seems to have. Maybe it's because of the age she's at, she keeps growing. The real best performance for her must have come in must have come in Dar es Salaam during the Kanazon 3 Championships where she won 9 gold medals out of 12 races uh, for her to become the best swimmer in her age group. I worked so hard. I was in the category 12 and under. I was 12. But there were so many different people who are really fast. So you should never think that you're the best because there are others training in other places. 